Today in this video we're going to have a brief overview of the Shortel Communicator. This software creates a logical connection between your PC and your Shortel phone handset. So first off we're going to go over the contacts tab here. You're going to see your contacts that are set up. These can be internal or external contacts, but for the internal folks you will be able to see their status, such as they're in office or they're out of office or in do not disturb here. And there's some other call handling modes that we can touch on later as well. If you double click a name, it will call that individual. And this is your status bar here. So you can do everything here that you can do on the handset as well. You can also dial directly to their mailbox by pressing dial mailbox and you'd go straight to their voicemail. As well as here on the status bar you can transfer directly to their voicemail. Now I'm going to add an outside contact. I'm going to add it to the contacts group. You can actually have different groups here maybe such as um, inside cells, outside cells, etc. But we'll just do uh, contacts for now. We can go in and add an individual such as Alan A. We can put their company name, their department, but for now we'll just do their phone number. And they'll show up there. So now Alan A is a contact. Uh, if that was a real number, of course, I could double click that and it would call Alan A. Um, and you, so, and typically you'd add that to another group such as outside numbers or such. Uh, that's the great thing about this is you can customize the contacts tab uh, to your liking. So what we're going to do now is go over these tabs down here that correspond with the contacts tab. You have call history. Call history is going to show um, your last set of calls here that go through and what you can do is you can right click, go to properties, you can actually add call notes here. This is very useful um, for people such as receptionists that are leaving notes. You can also uh, use it in a CRM fashion such as call customer back and such. This call history will log the last 1,000 calls that you've made out in and had transferred to you. We also have the voicemail tab here. This is going to show different voicemail boxes. If you're an individual with one voicemail, then you just have that one voicemail. But there are certain instances where you want individuals to have access to a thing such as a general voicemail box. So maybe a, a receptionist has her voicemail or his voicemail here, as well as a general voicemail here for the entire company. A bold message here would indicate that message had not been listened to, and a uh, normal font would indicate that the message had been listened to or it was old and you can right click and save these messages as well. Export to a WAV file and then that file can also be emailed. There is the option as well to have um, things such as voicemail to email and you can mark it as unheard as you saw there um, for this voice message here to be bolded and unlistened to if you perhaps accidentally clicked it and had to go back and listen to that. You also have your, your directory. This is going to show your system wide numbers that you have integrated into your Shortel system that's been done through the admin tool that everyone uh, has access to. <clears throat> you also have the ability to integrate your directory with Outlook if that's if a hook that's been done during your install. It integrates very nicely. I want to go in really quick to um, a troubleshooting issue we have here at times with customers is individuals instead of clicking these tabs in and out may accidentally click the X here because that's what they're accustomed to using. So now this is twofold. I want to show you how to add contacts back and also how you can customize this. You're going to come up here and click the Shortel logo. You're going to go to Windows and you're going to add the contacts again and you'll see it show up here. It's a really good way. Maybe you're someone, uh, your contacts are here and you don't need the directory. You can get out of that as well and take it off. So this is a very customizable um, window here. So the next thing I want to show you is this bar here. Currently right now we have it set as the primary phone. Uh, we'll get into the actual phone assignment later and some things you can do with other 10 digit numbers and extension assignment. Uh, this is dependent on the access of the user uh, at setup and you can uh, change this to things such as a soft phone which would be the ability uh, to not have a handset and just use uh, a Bluetooth type headset uh, or something of the sorts off-site or not have a handset at all. Again, this is dependent on the access given to the user. We'll go further into that in another video. This is going to be your mode. Right now we're in standard mode so we're going to receive calls as intended. 
you can customize these such as in a meeting out of office and you can put individual recordings to all of these or perhaps you're going on vacation or you have a customized call handling the great thing about this is this can also integrate with Outlook whenever you're setting a meeting you can go in and change it to okay I know this meeting is all day long I'm gonna put out of office and I'm gonna record it differently so this also has a very tight integration with Outlook Windows here this is to go back to uh, the windows that we were just talking about you also have that ability here to go into the ones that were here. Something we haven't talked about is actually just making a call directly here from the communicator. There's two ways you can do that. You can dial the number here, such as 555, if it's an outside number, or copy and paste, and there is an extended application to uh, click numbers as well. Or you can start typing someone's name. Remember Alan A that I added earlier? You'd be able to click on his name right here and dial out so name or number and there's an additional function here we can go in and do make a call and it would do the same thing call this is activated once you're on the line itself once you're making a call and it's basically uh, more detail of the call status bar here that we discussed tools this option tab here we're going to go in further into another video uh, there's a gamut of features uh, that we will go over regarding this and show you how to further optimize the communicator view this is for different things depending on where the user wants the communicator to sit. Right now we just have it in normal mode. You can make it small, you can dock it on the top and it would be here. You can right paint it similar to other GUIs that you've seen in the past. Uh, so really, yet again, you can customize it based on the user. Here's a help bar uh, that will bring you to a table of contents and allow you to search and control F for different functions. So that is a quick overview of the Shortel Communicator. We'll dig in further in other videos and thank you for watching.